All right, so in this video, we're going to take a quick look at the Tiny Hawk HD. So this is the Tiny Hawk where I've installed the Naked Vista unit. Okay, so it's got the Nebula Nano camera in there. So this is the original one, and the original is quite a compact build. I think you can see it there. Okay, so you can see the Naked Vista unit right up against the top plate. And this one here is the one from my latest flight video. So you can see there how much gap we've got, and you can also see something else underneath the battery strap, which I'm going to take a, a bit of a closer look at. Okay, so let's have a look underneath the microscope. Okay, so we can here, see here, this is the original uh, Tiny Hawk HD, and this uh, Naked Vista unit is right up against this battery strap here. So you see the battery strap comes across the, the front of the battery, it should be back a little bit further. Uh, so it's, it's not really holding it on well, it stays in place okay. But uh, you see at the front here, the battery strap is really running across the front of the Naked Vista there, and it's probably moving those wires. You can see the two wires in there, and it's probably rubbing up against those wires and moving them. Okay, so skip forward to version 2, where we've, we've actually changed a few things here. We're using these standoffs here. They're 25mm standoffs, and of course we've also cut a new side plate for the camera. To match the additional height and you can see it gives a, a much greater gap between the top of the naked vista unit and the the top plate there and you can see this this part we've got running through here this is actually a plate that separates the battery strap from the vista unit so you can see i can move the battery strap here and it's not going to rub on any of the components any of the wires or any of the components on the naked vista unit there so let's take it apart and we'll have a look at that part there and see what it looks like and how it works. Alright, so here we are with the top plate taken off. So we can clearly see what we've got here. This is uh, cut from a piece of FR4 fiberboard. So this is the, the fiberglass type material. We'll have a look at it. And this is the material that they actually use to make uh, circuit boards from. It's the base material. It's not actually the circuit board, but it's the base material that's actually used in that process. So let's have a look at it here. So here you can see how thin it is looking from the side. You can, you can flick it and it'll, it'll flex back into shape. So it's, it's rigid, it's quite rigid, but it's able to be bent without breaking. So if we have a look at the top plate here. All right, so we can have a better look here now. So the way this works is this plate has got holes um, in it, and those holes line up, of course, with the M2 bolts that go into the top plate there. And if I put this here, you can see the, the back hole is just a little bit further back. So we've increased the hole spacing by about maybe half a millimeter at, at the most. So if I line this hole up here, you can see the back hole there is not lined up. So what we actually have to do is push it like this, and you can see it bends up to get that hole to line up. So the result is when you, you push it like this, and the bolt lines up to go through, it creates that little bend in the material and that's how it works. So that's what it looks like there. And it's rather simple and just keeps the, the battery strap, gives us the battery strap its own place to move quite freely uh, without interfering with any of the electronics. Okay, so where to from here with the Tiny Cork HD build? I've got a few things coming. Uh, one thing that's in, in the way on the way at the moment is the Cadex Polar Nano camera. Now this camera, if we just have a look at this, okay so here's the here's the camera here I've got on the way and I've got a couple of these coming. Uh, what are we looking at here? Where are they? Um, at the moment Brisbane Australia, okay so it should be here any day. So this is actually the the Polar Nano and it's the 40, 14 millimeter camera and actually that's not the camera. They've, they've got the picture wrong on the website here. It's, they call it the, the Polar Nano. And this is what it actually looks like, the camera. Um, even on their listing, they still can't get the right camera. But no, this is actually the, the Polar Nano camera. And with the Naked Vista there. And that's what I've got on the way. So it's going to be very interesting to, to get that into the, the drone and see how that goes. And this is another... Another thing I've got coming is the Insta360 Go. This is the power USB mount. So this is a USB mount uh, on the unit. So it actually powers the unit from USB and you can connect that to solder that directly to the flight controller. 
and of course that's going to give you uh, much much longer recording times so hopefully i'll be able to hook that up too and we'll look at how we actually connect it to the flight controller board and see how it works okay so that's what we've got up and coming